chosen was where you were where you were where you were chosen was back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one mm. let's quickly do our smiling exercise chosen one yes that's so beautiful that is so beautiful chosen one yes we got to keep on smiling and that is how we are going to win as chosen one right great yes chosen one someday you will forget about who hurts you the reason you cried and the person that caused you pain you will realize that the secret to life is not about revenge but letting things unfold in their own way and their own time oh yes chosen one after all life is not about the start or the first chapter but life is about the last chapter of our life that determines how well we run the race yes because the race is not for the swift it's not for the fast it's not for those with you know long legs you know the race of life is for the determined and you as a chosen one you are determined because this life is about the beginning and the finishing and you god is the author of your fate and the finisher of your fate god is the usher the starter of your life and the finisher of your life so definitely you are going to win as a chosen one so i'm telling you laugh again <laughs> smile again believe and forgive and love all over again this new person in your life give it your 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 last shot love again all over again i tell you that is life don't be a victim of circumstances and situation if you are on love let go yes and embrace the new love that come your way don't be seeing the new love that is coming your way as the old one no you can't be looking back and at the same time be focusing on the new one there is no way you're going to win when you are looking back and you still want to look ahead you know you, you you'll be distracted so you need to stay focused and keep moving forward yes there is someone under the sound of my voice this video is for you you've been through so much because of love you've been betrayed you've been lied to you've been deceived you've been mocked you know you've been shamed you've been disgraced you've been embarrassed there is nothing you've not been through after giving all your best after giving it all you give your money you give your time you give your effort you give your resource you give your attention you give every good thing that the most high god the most high god has blessed you with yes and there is a new love in your life right now and you are like a bit confused should you or should you you shouldn't that is the mind right now you don't know whether you should go in for or i mean you should be by yourself i tell you love all over again believe forgive forget let go and you know the new doors that are opening for you embrace it with good hearts yes i'm telling you this time round 
it is going to work. That is life. Sometimes in life, you are going to receive lots of no's before you are going to receive yes. That's it. You see, life is about the experiences. So the experiences help you to learn. So open up. Okay? Don't be having this kind of fixed mindset. You need to have the growth mindset. Learn, unlearn, and relearn. And move on and grow. That is life. It is about the experiences. And the beauty of it is that people are going to betray you. Those you love so much, they're going to betray you. That is why betrayal is very painful because it doesn't come from um, strangers. Yes, it comes from people that are so close to us, people that love us, people that we love. People that we least expect that all they are going to disappoint us, betray us. They are the very ones that it comes from. So, when that happens, it becomes very painful. But that is the beauty of life. You cannot be living your entire life as a victim of circumstances. You cannot be living your entire life in self-pity, in sorrow. You cannot be living your entire life in misery. You got to understand that there is a race that you must run and there are victories to be won. And you need the strength of the Lord to keep going and going and going and keep winning. I tell you, you know, God has you in his plan. You have been positioned for the special attention of God. I want you to understand that whatever you've been through, that is part of life. It is just like a woman who is pregnant. When a woman gets pregnant, she goes through a lot. The first trimesters, the second trimesters, and the third trimesters, you know, the woman goes through a lot. The pain, the walking is going to change. Sometimes the feet, the legs are going to swell and, you know, a whole lot, right? And we go through the pain. Sometimes they don't even have appetite for food. And when it is time for delivery, if the water is broken and the woman is about to give birth, you know, they go through labor. Yes, they have to push. Doctors will be saying, you push, push. You know, some urinate on themselves. Some shit on themselves. They go to the toilet on themselves. Some will be insulting, complaining, lamenting. You know, some will be insulting their husband, the, the man, the person that impregnated them. Some will be vowing at that point when they are going through the pain that mm, this is painful. This is going to be my last bet. This is going to be my last delivery. I'm not going to get pregnant again. No, I'm not going to give myself out for any, for my man to, 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 to impregnate me again. But you know, the beauty of it is that the moment the woman continues to push, push harder, push harder, the doctors are like, push, 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 push harder, push harder. And the woman is traveling, going through the pain and boom, the baby comes out. Then she becomes free. And the moment she becomes free, right, doctors intentionally will put the baby on her. And at that spot, she takes a deep breath and she forgets about all the pain, all the labor, all the swollen feet, all the words she was saying. She's going to forget everything. And I tell you, within some few years, you will see the woman getting pregnant again. <laughs> that is the beauty of life. And that is the same when we come to relationship, when we come to issues of love. That is how it is. You cannot say because, oh, yeah, your first time, it is painful, it is hurting, and this and that, you are not going to love again. No, you are born to love. Love is inside of you. I'm telling you, love is powerful. Love contains an antidepressant. L love makes you feel good. It makes you feel okay. If, if it, it makes you, I mean, feel yourself. Oh, yes, love is beautiful. So love again. Believe, forgive, forget, let go. All right? Smile, laugh, and love again. Try it again. It's going to work. This time around, I tell you, it is going to work. That is the beauty of love life that is it after all that you go through you forget 
and you move on. And new things happen. Just like the pregnant woman that I've, 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 I've used in this video. That's it. All right? There is a new person, a new love in your life. And this person loves you so much. So don't let the pain of the past, the circumstances, the bad treatment, the mishandle by, you know, people you've been in a relationship with in your past makes you think that is how everybody is like. I'm telling you. Those are part of your history. Yes, they are past and gone. You learn from it and you moved on. That is the beauty of it. All right? So welcome this one, this new one. Welcome it. It's going to work this time around. Remember, it all depends on you. Your attitude, your character. That is what is going to help you maintain the blessing. That is why each and every day you have to keep on working on yourself. You have to keep on striving to become a better version of yourself. Yes. Challenges are going to come. Difficulties are going to come. Problems are going to come. But you need to understand that there is no understanding without misunderstanding. Oh, yes. And always remember that two wrongs cannot make it a right oh yes and being in a relationship is not all the time that you're going to have feelings or love for the person but it is a choice it is a decision that you have to take and you have to be intentional about it and stand by it when the goings are good, the goings are bad. When there is money in the pocket, there is no money in the pocket. When it is comfortable, it is not comfortable. When you understand it, you don't understand it. This is the person I am going to be with. I am being with. That should be your mindset. And if that is your mindset, then I tell you this time around is going to work. And when you make mistakes, admit. When you offend apologize yes apologize that is the beauty of it that is what is going to keep the relationship that's it that is how you maintain this new love and don't forget you got to keep on working 24 7 all the time the moment you let you let com complacency and laziness enter you i'm telling you is going to happen like the past you have to put in the work each and every day all the time don't let the fire quench that is how you maintain something and remember it is not a one-way sided kind of thing yes reciprocity is key to a lasting and a healthy long love relationship if it, it is only one party that is bringing out the money all the time all the time all the time a time is coming a time will come it's going to lead to frust frustration but sometimes certain bills that are within your means that you can you can foot you have to f you have to foot it to relieve your partner all right hand go hand come and that is how you know you are going to have a very healthy and a nice and a beautiful loving relationship as a chosen one i believe you have been inspired by this video and that is my goal right share this video with someone you care about right share i tell you it's gonna be beautiful yes you will smile again you will laugh again. You will be loved again. The way you always wanted to be loved. You are going to be loved once more. Yes. Try it. Go for it. Love is a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. It is a beautiful thing. When you know what you are about. And you have that mind and heart decision. 
That's it. You see, love is not about the temple, the church, the mosque, or whatever. But love is a mindset and a heart decision. If always you have in your mind that mm, this is the person I'm going to be with. This is the person I would love to be with. So we develop that gray hair. So will it be? Everything is, is about a mindset. It's about the belief that you hold. Believe. Just believe. All right? Great. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.